Good morning to some of you and good afternoon to others. Thank you for joining our webinar today, Empire Underwriters powered by Appulate. The goal of our webinar today is to introduce or reintroduce some of you to Empire Underwriters, which pride themselves in being a problem solving MGA, which I believe is a very sought after uh, attribute for an MGA. Uh, and also to show you how Empire Underwriters has partnered with Appulate to automate and streamline your submission process to make it very easy to submit to Empire Underwriters. I will be one of your presenters today, Vanessa Dulier Kamara. I am the VP of Operations at Appulate, and I'm joined by Ken Walker, Director of Marketing at Empire, and his colleague Hugo. Uh, who will lead the Empire or who leads the Empire Underwriting team, whom you'll hear a little later on during the demonstration and during the Q&A section. So speaking of Q&A, let's quickly get through some webinar logistics before we get started. Due to the size of the webinar, everybody is currently muted. That's just to make sure that we don't have a lot of background noise going on. Uh, but we would like to hear from you and we would like to certainly answer any questions that you have. So as we go through this so that you don't forget your question, just type it in and go ahead and send your question whenever you have them. In that GoToMeeting side panel, there's a question uh, section. So go ahead and type it in there for us. And during Q&A, we'll make sure to read those questions out loud and either myself or someone from the Empire team will uh, be happy to answer those questions for you. Also during Q&A, if you would prefer to raise your hand and ask the question out loud, I can go ahead and unmute you. So please stick around till the end if you do have any questions. Uh, all right, so uh, now I'd like to pass it over to Ken and Ken will take you through a little bit more about who Empire is, Ken. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, as Vanessa said, my name is Ken Walker and uh, I am Director of Marketing for Empire Underwriters. Uh, Hugo Soltero has joined me. Uh, Hugo will be available at, towards the uh, end of the presentation to answer any specific questions about Empire or our programs or our policies or anything like that. Um, so Empire Underwriters is a problem-solving MGA. We're a wholesaler and X license surplus provider. Uh, we've been in business for over 13 years now. Um, we currently operate in 41 states, uh, but we are adding states all the time. Uh, our goal is to operate in all the states. Um, our main product lines include workers' compensation, property and casualty, uh, and of course, uh, specialty lines. Uh, so what is a problem-solving MGA? Um, it means that we do what we can to help you with your tougher clients and your uh, harder to place uh, clients. How many of you have had uh, clients with a high mod because of a previous claim? Um, how many agents have had to find insurance for a client who just by the nature of their business has a height exposure such as a roofer? Um, many, many People have clients who operate in hazardous industries, they're in multiple states, they have had a lapse in coverage in the past, um, or they're just getting started with a new venture. Um, it can be difficult to find these clients coverage at all, let alone at reasonable rates, and this is where Empire comes in. So how do we do this? Well, we've developed custom programs with, uh, with carriers with these types of difficulties in mind. We have standalone workers' comp programs that are designed for high hazard, high risk clients. Um, we have many programs that have guaranteed costs, large deductibles, they're loss sensitive, and a lot of programs that are available only through Empire Underwriters. Uh, additionally, we also carry general liability and excess liability programs. So those are some of the tools that we use, but tools really aren't enough. Empire brings a level of service and investment far beyond our competitors. Uh, our underwriters spend time to dig into your client's business. We like to get into the details of their operation and identify specific needs. This is how we're able to uncover uh, savings for the client 
we look at the flaws in current programs and we can create custom solutions that give your clients at the, the coverage they need at the lowest possible premium. We take the time to invest, investigate in your client's success, therefore helping you with your success. And our commissions are pretty good too. Most of our programs can pay up to 10% or even more. So how does this work in the real world? Well, uh, we had an agent come to us. They had a client, it was a roofer, whose premium was so high, he was in danger of having to shut down his business. He had a, a large claim in the past and of course, some height exposures being a roofer. Uh, Empire did a review of his policy and his operations and we discovered his carrier had classified all of his employees as roofers, meaning they all had significant height exposure. We worked with the agent and his client to reclassify his point in his, the client's employees correctly. We were able to then get a custom workers comp program in place that saved that agent's client over $200,000 a year in premium. Uh, the agent was able to save his client's business. Therefore, he looked like a hero. Does anyone think that roofer is gonna be going anywhere else next year? He's gonna be looking for a new agent next year or anytime soon. Absolutely not. He's sticking with that guy. Um, okay, at this point, I'm going to turn things back over to Vanessa. Thank you, Ken. I uh, love that story there. All right, so before we get into our demonstration, I do want to just take a moment uh, for those of you that are new to Appulate to sort of, to sort of tell you where we fit into this picture, where we fit into this puzzle here. So Appulate is a technology company that serves the insurance industry with a goal to maximize efficiency. And currently we have over 20,000 agencies in our network, I'm sorry, 30,000 agencies in our network with nine of the top 10 agencies currently using Appulate. So we've also proudly partnered with hundreds of markets, including Empire Underwriters, to streamline your marketing and submission process. So without further ado, I'd like to show you how you can use Appulate to submit to Empire Underwriters, because seeing it is believing it, right? All right, so I have a completed accord form on my screen here in a PDF. You may have your accord forms in your agency management system. Uh, that's great. Part of what makes Appulate unique is that our Appulate Uplink tool works with any agency management system. So you don't have to worry about which one you're using, what version you're on, just go to wherever your record form is. And if it's filled out, you don't have to start from scratch. You'll simply bridge this data into Appulate so that you don't have to rekey it when submitting to Empire. So the way that, the way that this works is we're going to Appulate it. In other words, we're going to print to the Appulate uplink printer option. So just like if you were going to print any document to your office printer or your home printer, uh, but instead you'll choose Appulate Uplink. Click print and it will ask you to confirm your Appulate credentials. This is how it knows where to take it in Appulate. Aha, I just updated my password here. There we go. All right, so once your credentials are plugged in, it may ask you to verify that this is workers comp. And yes, uh, for this particular demonstration, we are going to be doing workers comp, but it's only one of 21 lines of business uh, in Appulate that Empire Underwriters is supporting. And although they may have different questions, the process that I'm showing you in Appulate is the same for each line of business. So Appulate nor Empire Underwriters is simply for workers comp, it's for several lines of business. All right, so here it's asking me if I would like to update an existing, if this is something that we're already working on in Appulate, or if we'd like to create a new insured. And we would like to create a new insured for the purposes of our demo today, so I can take you sort of from start to finish. All right, so now we are in Appulate. We have our insured created, we have our line of business, we have the effective date. If this was outdated on your accord form, you can simply update that in Appulate. And then it takes you to what we call our smart Q&A. And here you'll see all of the information that you bridged over from your accord form so that you don't have to rekey it. And to add any additional Empire Underwriter specific questions, 
you'll just have to go ahead and add Empire Underwriters to your market. So you'll go at the top here where it says Add Market. You'll click the plus sign and you should see Empire Underwriters listed here. Go ahead and select it. And once you see Empire Underwriters selected, you're gonna notice that now there's a letter indication here on the right-hand side. It's gonna tell you what questions are missing and required before you're able to click the Submit button under Action. So Empire Underwriters has plugged in their questions that they need answers to in order to get you a quote. So this eliminates the back and forth, which lengthens the process to getting a quote. And this also keeps you from retaining the information. So down below, we can see how many questions we have left to answer. It's grouped it up into these categories for easy sorting. And if you wanted to look through um, to find a certain question. In terms of going through this questionnaire to answer those, you can just go through this section by section and clicking next. You could jump directly ahead into one of these sections to look for those questions. They do have a red asterisk next to them. Or you can use our uh, live links here. So when you hover over this letter indication, it will tell you what questions are missing and required. But they're also live links so that you don't have to spend time sorting through those questions. It will take you directly to, well, it'll take you directly to that question. So in this case, it's just asking me to plug in my comments here uh, for the work insurance, work comp insurance history. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm just trying to work through this as quickly as possible for you. I know you don't want to see me type a bunch of things into my screen, so I'm just going to plug in fictitious information. But of course, you would plug in the information that's relevant to your submission. And you can see that all of this information is plugged in because it was bridged over from the Accord form. So I'm not reeking information. I'm just answering questions that are specific to Empire Underwriters that are not Accord questions or that were left blank on my Accord form. Now, some of you may start directly uh, in Appulate uh, because you don't have an Accord form, and that's perfectly fine. So a little later on in my demonstration here, I'll show you how you can get started directly from within Appulate if you do not have an Accord form already filled out. All right, so we've answered all of the missing and required questions. We have a letter indicator here that says uh, A for accepted, and we have a green submit button under action. That's what we're looking for. We want that to be green. That means we're ready to go ahead and submit to Empire Underwriters. So I'll go ahead and submit, and you'll see that my action and my status change here. So I've submitted, that's the point that I'm at right now, and the only other action right now would be to upload a quote. So uh, this triggers a notification to the Empire Underwriters team as soon as you submit it to review the information that you've sent over to them and to start working on a quote as soon as possible. Hugo, can you come on here and tell us a little bit about turnaround time before we keep moving forward? Yes, thank you, Vanessa. Hello, everybody. Um, so as far as turnaround time, there are specifics as far as depending upon the market that we're approaching. Some of them I've been able to turn around the same day, others 24 hours, and depending upon also, as you all may know, the effective date. Many of you are already working on January 1st effective dates and I've gotten a significant amount of submissions for that date already. And I don't expect to turn those around until probably the you know, beginning of uh, November, middle of November. Now, if you need something that is uh, a faster turnaround, meaning that the client may, may or may not have prior coverage or the effective date is the next day, by all means, uh, submit it, uh, pick up the phone, call us or email us, and we'll be able to pull it from the queue, uh, put it out on top of the file and expedite it for you so that you have an answer sooner rather than later as far as that particular submission is concerned. Uh, hopefully that answers the question. Wonderful, Hugo, thank you. All right, so let's continue on with the demonstration. As I mentioned, we clicked the submit button. Hugo talked to you a little bit about the turnaround time. Uh, Empire Underwriters is one of our partners, so as soon as they quote that for you, they're actually going to upload it directly into Accolate and you will receive email notification letting you know that you have a quote waiting for you in Accolate. And in this case, of course, I'm just going to, for the purposes of my demo, upload the quote here really quickly so that Hugo doesn't have to really quote this for me uh, and we can keep moving forward. 
Okay, so once you receive email notification that there's a quote ready for you in Appulate, you log into Appulate. You can take a look at that here. You have options to send that to your uh, insured by email so that they can review. And when you're ready to move forward, you can go ahead and click on this request to bind. Now, one of the great things about working with Empire Underwriters is that they do not require you to be appointed to get your quote. You can work on the appointment process if you're a brand new agency with Empire Underwriters during bind. So if you choose to move forward, then you can deal with the appointment process and that has been uh, made uh, automated for you. So it's right within the Appulate system. You can click on get appointed and it will walk you through the appointment process. I've prepped some of this for you in the background. Basically it asks you to electronically sign the appointment agreement and upload these documents. The insurance agent license, the current agency e &O policy, and the federal tax ID number. So if you are not yet appointed with Empire Underwriters, it will take you through this process at the time of fine. If you would like to do that ahead of time, you're more than welcome to, and I can show you how that's done uh, in a little bit. And for those of you that are appointed, it will completely bypass the step. You do not have to do this again. All right, so uh, a couple of uh, just quick notes here before we move on. So electronic signature for this is already included. You do not have to have a separate account or, um, or uh, resource for that. It's all within the Appulate system. So you'll click the action and electronically sign that. Then when you upload, just make sure that you choose the proper type from the drop down menu because there is a bit of you know checks and balances here or a checklist for you to complete. So it does specifically want you to upload these uh, three documents here. So make sure that when you're uploading it, you choose the right one from the drop down menu. All right, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and click on request appointment. And this will trigger a notification to the Empire Underwriters team. They will review the documents that you've sent over to them. And when they're ready to go ahead and appoint you, they will do so and you're, you will receive email notification and your status will change from pending request to appointed. So Hugo is gonna take care of that for me in the background uh, so that we can keep moving forward. Hugo, let me know once that's done. You're all set. Wonderful, all right. So let me refresh my screen here. And there we go. So I would have received email notification and you can see that my status has been changed to appointed. So when you receive email notification, it's going to have a link there that will take you directly back to where you were working on this insured file in Appulate. Um, but if you were to just log in, I'll show you how you can get there. You can go to insured, all insured, and you may have this my 10 latest uh, only option filled out and you should see that listed here. Otherwise you can search by name, F-E-I-N, um, or you'll just simply see it on your list. So we were working on Rock and Roll Garden Center, work comp. We're gonna go back there and see what's happening. Okay, so I still have a request to bind button to click on and I'll click on it. And remember last time we clicked on it, it said you must be appointed first. So we completed that and now it's taking us to the next step of the request to bind which is to electronically sign the Accord 130 and to upload loss runs. So let's go through uh, uploading loss runs first. When you click upload, it will take you to the loss runs tab. You can drag and drop your loss runs or you can click this paperclip icon on the right hand side and upload the file. A quick Appulate tip for you, if you're not quite sure what the icons mean, just hover over them for a second and it will tell you. So upload file over here, we'll click on that and we'll go ahead and browse our computer for those loss runs. Once you upload them into Appulate, you can see that when you click on request to bind again, that sort of checked off the list here. You know, that's completed. And the other only uh, other thing that's left to do here before you request to bind is to electronically sign this document. All right, and in the interest of time, I'm not gonna take you through the electronic signature process since that's straightforward. It will send it to you um, or open it up for you rather for you to sign it and it will send it for your, uh, to your applicant or your insured for signature as well. And once that's done, you'll get this check mark here as well. 
and the final action will be request to bind. And this will send a notification to the Empire team. They will go through the bind process. And once it is bound, you will receive email notifications. And of course, you'll see that this is marked as a bound policy in Appulate, and they will upload the policy docs for you in Appulate to review. All right, so this is how you go from start to finish. If you already have an accord form filled out in a PDF or in your agency management system, no need to rekey it. Hit the Appulate Up link, a printer option, and it will bridge the information for you. Choose Empire as your market answer the required questions, click the submit button, and uh, then you'll get your quote back through Appulate. And should you choose to move forward, there will be request to bind steps for you to follow, including an appointment process if you are not yet appointed six Empire underwriters. All right, now I did promise I'd show you a couple of other things here in Appulate for those of you that don't have a cord form. I wanna show you how you can start directly in Appulate. I'll show you quickly where you could start your appointment if you do not wanna wait till uh, the bind process. And then I'll walk you through setup. We only have a couple of minutes left of this demo. And then we'll go ahead and go back to the slides and open it up for questions. Okay, so if you do not have an Accord form filled out, you would like to start directly in Appulate, you're welcome to. The very first page that you get logged into in Appulate, is the insured page. And uh, it's the all insured here where you see add new customer or prospect at the top left. Click on that and go ahead and type in the name of your insured. And uh, if you have the DBA or FEIN or anything, you're welcome to enter it here. It is not a required field. You can input that information later on. So at this point, we'll click continue. And here we'll choose the line of business. So again, uh, we did workers comp, but um, uh, Empire Underwriters has 20 other, 21 other lines of business that are supported in Appulate and they work in 41 states. So um, you should be able to uh, do a lot with Empire Underwriters here in Appulate. So once you choose the line of business and the effective date, you're here in the Smart Q&A section, and it's the same process from here. So you'll choose Empire Underwriters as your market, and once you do that, it's going to ask you the missing and required questions, all of the questions that Empire Underwriters needs in order to get you a quote back as soon as possible. You'll go ahead and go through this section by section to answer any of the missing and required questions. And once you've completed the questionnaire, you will have a green submit button that you can click on. All right, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is appointments. So if you go to markets and selected, you'll see all of the markets that you've chosen to work with in Appulate, including Empire Underwriters. And if you want to work on the appointment process ahead of the submission, if you wanna take care of that right away, you can. You'll go to Market Selected, choose Empire, and under Appointment, you uh, can go ahead and walk through the steps, which we already walked through. So mine says Appointed, yours will say Not Yet Appointed, and it will tell you what documents to upload, and it will ask you to go through the appointment agreement signature process. And once that's done, you will have a button there that says Request Appointment. Okay, so a couple of setup items, and we'll be opening it up to Q&A in just a minute. So where to log in? <coughs> Excuse me. So appulate.com forward slash sign in, this is where you'll log in. Go ahead and input your credentials. Everyone that was invited to this webinar already has Appulate credentials. If you do not remember what your password is, go ahead and click on the forgot password link to reset it. Once you sign in, uh, over at the top here, you'll see markets selected. So you, again, do you want to make sure that Empire is listed there? And you'll also want to go to uh, setup here. And you'll want to go to, um, sorry, you'll want to go to tools and Appulate uplink. So you'll want to download the uplink so that you can 
bridge over a core data from your management system or core PDF into Appulate. So if you want to use that feature, you'll have to download it first. You'll do that by choosing your management system from the drop down menu if you have one uh, or if you're going to be using one and then click on this link to install it. It'll install in less than a minute onto your desktop, just like another printer. It's a pretty simple uh, process. If you want further instructions, you can click on that. And if you run into any issues, you can always email support at papulate.com. We've also recently introduced our live chat feature. So um, for those of you um, that are new, or even those of you that have been with us for a while, uh, I'd like to introduce you to our chat feature here, the very bottom right hand side of the page, you can click on that and you can chat with someone live if you're running into any issues. All right, with that said, I'd like to go ahead and take us back into our, um, our slides here. I do have some contact information up on the screen that you're welcome to jot down. So if you do have any questions about Empire uh, or about Appulate after the webinar, for Empire, the contact would be Hugo, and his email address is on my screen here. If you have any questions with uh, in regards to Appulate, you can always reach out to our agent ambassadors at this email address. So I'll leave this on the screen for just another second or so, and then we're gonna go ahead and open it up for any questions. So if you do have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. Uh, I can unmute you so you can ask your question out loud, or go ahead and type in your question in the chat section, and I can go ahead and read those out loud, and we'll go ahead and answer those for you. While we wait for some of those questions to come in, I also have this here up on my screen to remind you a little bit about uh, what Empire writes, some of the popular class codes, if you would like to drop that down as well. All right, it looks like we have a couple of questions. Let's work through those. So once I submit for a quote, how do I get to the accord forms that you were completed, that were completed through Appulate? We do not have a management system. Great question. So uh, if you do not have a management system or if you do not have access to accord forms, uh, you will have access to accord forms in Appulate. Uh, if it is a, a, a premium account. So let me just, uh, let me, before I get into too much detail, it's better if I just go back to my screen here and show you. So for your submission to Empire Underwriters, you do not need to have an Accord form filled out. All of the Accord questions and the Empire specific questions are right here within the Q&A section. So you do not physically have to hand over an accord form to Empire Underwriters. Simply answer the questions and click Submit. In some instances, you will have access to the accord forms or to additional uh, like supplementals, depending on what kind of an account you have. So if you wanna pop into the form section, you can see what you have access to. If you want to see this information, in an accord or in supplemental format. But again, you do not have to have the accord or the supplemental physically. Uh, all the questions are in the smart q and I hope that answers that question. If not, uh, feel free to ask again here. Okay, I have a question here for Empire about the lines of business that you write. Uh, Hugo or Ken, do you want to take us through those again? Not a problem. Um, as far as lines of business are concerned, um, we are a uh, definitely focused on workers' comp, whether it be the the high hazards, uh, the lapse in coverage, new business, um, the hard to place account. Uh, but we also have a property and casualty department, what we like to call. Um, that does everything other than workers' comp. That would be your general liability, your excess liability, uh, DNO, ENO, property coverage, packages, um, cargo, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, just to, to name a few of the markets, uh, I'm sorry, of the coverages that we can uh, put in place for your, your client. So if you have something that the client may need coverage for, reach out to us. Uh, you can speak to myself, 
uh, Hunter and or Jason in that department as far as anything other than workers comp and they'll be glad to review any account with you and or um, give you an, uh, an update as to what markets we have available and how soon we can get those quoted. On the uh, workers comp side, uh, you can speak to myself, Hugo, um, Jonathan, Robert or Tatiana, and each one of us are handling the uh, the workers' comp submission. So you can always reach out if you have any questions or when in doubt uh, as far as whether or not we can write it, give us a call. And actually, if I could expand on that a little bit, um, Hugo mentioned property. Um, one of the areas we've just started writing some, we've got some new programs for really high valued property, um, not just a regular uh you know standard property but but like super high value properties we're writing those as well too correct Thank yeah you. the uh, you. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah the lines of business go along with the workers comp if it's hard to place on the liability property side we want to see that too same thing uh with respect to the workers comp great thank you for that clarification um there was a clarification here on the previous question so it looks like they were looking specifically for the accord form to sign during the request to bind process. So let me show where that's at. Um, once you submit, then it will give you that next step for request to bind. So let me see if I can go back in here. Okay. So once you go ahead and submit and they've returned a quote back to you, so you see a quote here, when you click on request to bind, if you're already appointed, it bypasses that appointment process and then it takes you here to where you need to electronically sign the Accord 130. So click on send to sign and it will have you choose the producer and the applicant and then it will open it up for you to sign if you are the producer or it will send it to whoever you listed as the producer and it will also send it to the applicant. So if you're looking for electronic signature on uh, those accord forms, you click on request to bind and it pops that up for you. That uh, answered that question. Good, I'm glad. Okay, very good. Any other questions? Okay, well, very good. On behalf of the Appulate team, I'd like to thank you all for joining the call today and thank you, Empire, for co-hosting this with me. I'll toss it over to you to, to close this out here with some final words. Uh, okay, well, I, I just want to thank everybody for attending um, and learning a little bit more about Empire, uh, about Appulate, and how we're working together. We're very excited about our, our partnership with Appulate. Um, you know, one of the things that the owner of our company keeps pushing us for is is efficiencies in technology and as well as you know better ways to serve our our agents and you know the faster we can turn turn around uh submissions the the more efficient we can be internally just that that helps us with helps our agents help their help their clients um so we're really excited about being part of the uh appulate uh family so to speak so thank you ken Likewise. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.